you know, emotions have no transportation of their own. It's a strange way to talk about emotions, I know. But it might help you to understand the nature and the connection between thought and emotion. Um, all emotions are triggered by thinking. However fast that happens, and sometimes it happens so fast that you think the emotions are independent of thought because the first thing, the first thing is a feeling that comes. An anger, a rage, a frustration, a discouragement, an upset, um, a panic, a drama. It happens so quickly between what you experienced and what you feel that you don't see any thought between those two things happening because the reaction time is, is millisecond. But I promise you, every emotion you experience is triggered by, carried by, continued by, supported by, permitted by your thinking. In other words, your emotions are static, they are stationary. They cannot take over, they cannot go anywhere, they cannot take you anywhere unless your thinking goes over to their house and picks them up and takes them for a ride. Um, so don't allow your thinking to be the Uber driver for your emotions. If you will stop chauffeuring your emotions around, drop them off and leave them there and think and stop and pause and realize that you control your emotions by your thinking. Your emotions do not control your thinking. That you at any time can decide in your head, I am not going to entertain that thinking because when I do, it brings up negative, troubling, stressful, drama emotions in me and then that adds more complications um, than were necessary because the thought itself may be neutral or the thought itself could have been postponed or could have been handled a different way but now emotions are involved and now it becomes a drama that you think um, is legitimate and belongs to you and the situation merits it and perhaps and usually it does not. This is why Jesus, I think, said to the apostles, do not worry because you add nothing to your life. In fact, you subtract from your life by worrying because worry brings up all this negative emotion that's attached to worrying about where shall we eat and, and where shall we sleep and where's our, where's our um, routines going to be because they were all living in a life without routine compared to the life before they were with Jesus. Then he said, and, and, and also don't you guys go worrying about what hasn't happened yet, worrying about the future. Um, because what that, hap what that makes happen in us is when we worry about what hasn't happened, we now have phantom emotions, as it were, about things that haven't happened yet. So we bring forward in time, not only the thinking about something that isn't needing to be thought about yet so much, but we bring with us emotions that we don't have to deal with yet. So we go and bring emotion from the future into the present, as well as the emotions of the present. We pile onto it emotions that we're borrowing from the future and often from the past with a sense of regret about things. So I think my idea to you, my thought to you is your emotions depend on your mind for transportation. So stop letting your emotions hijack your mind and get your thinking to transport them into the mainstream flow of your life, relationships, work life, and so on and so on. Stop in your thinking and think, okay, this thinking is going to bring up worry, fear, anxiety, frustration, anger, uh, unforgiveness, bitterness, rage, or whatever. I'm not going to let that happen. It's right there. It's a millisecond. You got to practice this, guys. It's hard work. If you'll practice it a few minutes a day on little things that you feel always you fail in, if you'll practice it with emotions that you feel always get the better of you, um, I promise you at the front end of that process is this out of control, random runaway thinking that is over at emotions house in a, in a heartbeat, giving the same emotion a ride yet again, taking you where you don't want to go. It starts and is controlled and is stopped up here. So cancel the Uber app that your emotions keep using. You are not their chauffeur. You are their governor, their boss, their leader, their dictator, their dominator, their controller. You are up here.